Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be picking my French Liga 1 team on Surrey Fantasy Football. So make sure you stick around. If you do like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below. You get a free limited card. You'll also get to draft your fantasy teams as well for free, including your Premier League team. You can also win rewards as well in the form of NFT cards that you can then use in higher tournaments to win even more prizes okay then guys let's get stuck into it smash the like button subscribe to the channel as normal follow me on twitter and facebook let's go ahead and pick my french league of one team now there is a little bit of caveat here guys if you have played this last season on server you will have the same squad until the new cards are out the new season cards are out on server fantasy football but you can use four transfers instead of two until the new cards have come out to bolster your team. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. First of all, I'm just going to click on register just to see what my current squad is looking like, seeing what players I've got. So I've got Anthony Lopez here for Leon and Mario Diao, who was pretty decent as well. Um, he plays for Clement Foot, I believe. Let's just have a look at the starting lineups for the French La Liga. So we'll just click on here, go to France. This is on playsharp.com, guys. Really good utility if you're not using it already, just to see the predicted lineups and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was the case. So Anthony Lopez is actually injured at the moment. And let's just have a look at this other player. If he does play for Clement Foote, yeah, he does. He cost 54 points, 90% chance of starting. But not the strongest two goalkeepers, I'd argue. Anthony Lopez is good. Obviously, he is currently injured, though. So, probably maybe look to get rid of them with the transfers that I have. Kimbembe, it looks like he's potentially injured still. So, that's not good news. Um, expected back September. So, he's another one that I'll need to get rid of and potentially get another defender as well. Cabela is still a good choice, though. He's looking good. And I've also got Kylian Mbappe again. Another player was probably not going to be starting. I think he is looking to get out of Paris Saint-Germain. Let's just have a look. Yeah, he's not expected to start now. They have got this Ramos now as a new signing. And also in Lee. And also, <laughs> it looks like Neymar is looking to leave as well. So, Paris Saint-Germain is looking a real mess at the moment. So... Yeah, so there's a few players that I need to get rid of there, guys, just from all the transfers that have happened. So I'm going to click out there. I'm going to click on Swap. This is how you do your transfers. I'm going to add. So I'm going to add Mbappe. Now, that's obviously going to free up a lot of points for me. Um, the other players that I need to get rid of. Now, Abdelli is now playing the French League 2, so it's another one that I will need to get rid of. But there might be some other priority ones that I need to get rid of first. Hamari Torre. Now, I think, has he moved as well? Has he changed to a different team? I think he potentially has. Oh no, he plays for Real Sociedad now. So that's in the Spanish league. So that's another player that I'll need to get rid of. And Kimbembe as well, who's currently injured. So this one, I'll, I'll get rid of him because he's worth more gems. These gems are what you use, guys, to buy your team. This point here of these gems, this value here, is based on the last 15 games. So the last... Um, 15 scores of that player in terms of fantasy scores on Surrey Fantasy Football and that gives you the average of the L15 and this is what the, depicts the cost of that player in terms of these gems here. You have so many to spend, as you can see I've got 116 to spend now after getting rid of Neymar and Torre. So I will get rid of him because he's worth 47 Kambembe is only worth 40 Goalkeepers I'll probably look to get rid of both of these as well so as you can see, that is my four transfers there, guys. So I'm going to need a defender, two goalies, and a forward. Now I will start with the goalies because I will be looking to get um, a player that's a goalkeeper that's of 40 value. So the lowest possible value for a goalkeeper because obviously I'm only going to be playing one of them. I'm going to be spending the majority of the coins on the starting goalie. So if we just go over to play sharper, this is what I like to do in terms of this. Obviously, we can see the L40 of the players here and the likelihood of starting as well. 6% chance for this player here. Bulka for niche. Now, we could also then look at a player who's going to be starting who's got a potential uh, points cap of 40. So Bulka 
does fall in that category, although he's 60%, so I'll probably avoid him for now. Let's just have a look at some other options. He's too much, 46. Dioff is going to be 54. Paris Saint-Germain, 46 for Donnarumma, too much. Uh, Mavogo, this one could be a good one. He's a starter for Lorient. Is he on so rare? Let's have a look. Yes, he is. There he is, 40. So he's looking like the pick so far. Now, obviously, this player, guys, I'm probably not going to be playing, uh, but it is good to have a starting goalkeeper as your backup in case of any emergencies. So 44 Lafont. We've also got Restes, but I don't think he's a licensed player on Surre yet, so I don't think he's going to be there. No. So we'll skip in. So we'll keep with Mavogo. He's the number one choice at the minute, guys, for that backup goalkeeper slot. Clement Foot, Diaw is too much, the one that I'm getting rid of actually, so is Colne. Um let's just have a look at Montpellier. So he's too much, so is that guy. Renz, 60 for Mandanda, he's obviously too much. 54 for the other player. And finally we've got Strasbourg, 50 for Sells, 44 for Rao. So yep, yeah, he looks like the pick there, guys, for that cheap goalkeeper. Now Defender then, and goalkeeper of course. Now a stack would be nice. So again, I'm going to go back to a player sharper. I'm also going to look at the odds as well, guys, here for the French League 1. Just see what some of the favourites are. Of course, I want to be targeting some big teams as well. Um, you know, bigger teams in the French League 1. So Paris Saint-Germain, I'll fall under that. Marseille, of course, uh, is a good team. Lens did well last season. Whether they can recreate that season, this season, another story. Uh, Montpellier, I don't think, are really a top side, are they? Rennes could be a good option, though. Um, but, yeah, they're the only ones that really stand out here. So, let's just have a look at some of the fixtures for these teams, then. So, we'll start at the top. Um, not interested in any of those. So, Marseille, then. So, 46 for Paul Lopez. That could be a cheap goalkeeper option there, guys. And in terms of the defenders, there's a few options there. We'll just go on to Surrey Data, though, and just have a look at the defenders, a little bit more details, the ones that are going to be starting. So Klaus is good, I believe. We've also got Gignot, who's predicted to start here. Let's have a look who we've got as well. And Bemba, he can be good on. And Lodi, let's just have a look at the stats of these guys on Surrey scoring system, guys. So this could be a potentially good stack here. There. So he's not great, so get rid of him. Let's have a look at Mbemba. He's looking good, guys. Pretty decent there. And Klaus. He's also not bad. Not many peak scores, though. Gignocht. No, I don't think he's a choice there. So he's a good choice, though. Klaus, potentially. Or Mbemba. Points-wise, it's 42 for Mbemba, so he's cheaper than his counterpart. It looks slightly better to me as well, I would say. Um, he's starting most of the games as well. So I'm actually going to go with Mbemba if I do go with a defensive stack of Paul Lopez and Mbemba. But that's going to be a cheap stack in defence, guys. And that's going to obviously free up lots of money for the rest of my team. So let's have a look at some of our potentials, guys. So PSG, of course. So Donnarumma's looking good, 46. And they've obviously got a few good options in defence, including Lucas Hernandez, guys, who could be a potential 40 pickup due to his um, injury. As you can see, it's showing 4 0 here. So let's have a look at these players, guys. Just going to look if Hernandez is available on here. He's not coming up, actually, though, guys, unfortunately. So that's a shame. I think it's because he's potentially just transferred from Bayern as well. That's probably why he's not coming up on this on the French one yet, so that's disappointing, but if he does come up, guys, that could be a real bargain, um, so let's just look at some of these PSG defenders then, obviously we know Donnarumma's half decent, <laughs> um, he's pretty cheap as well, 46, so we'll just open him in a different window, just to keep him up, uh, let's have a look at some of these starting defenders then, so we've got Hakimi, McQuinnells, and Skriniar, Skriniar, Hakimi, Akeem is 50. It's not too bad, really, because he's a good defender. Um, Aquinos has not been scoring great recently, so get rid of him. I don't know if Scrini is going to be on it. Should Yeah, he should be. Um, Akeem is obviously the looks like the standout here. Um, he's capable of the peak scores as well. Um, so I think I'd probably go towards him. He's cheaper as well 
than um, Scrinia. So, two, another good stack there for PSG guys. Obviously, they're a big team as well. They should still do well this season, even though there is a lot of players leaving. Hopefully, they will still do well this season. So, next up, who else have we got? Uh, Monaco, I suppose, is a fairly big team, aren't they? But, yeah, there's none really, no players really standing out there. Uh, the other team was Rennes, so we've got Mandanda was going to cost you 60 points though. So I'm going to stay well clear of that, I think. So, I think this um, stack for PSG is looking really appealing here, guys. So I think I'm going to go with that, actually. So Hakimi, who's not coming up, that's <laughs> that's a bad sound. Yeah, I don't know why he's not coming up, guys. That's a bit, a bit silly, isn't it? Let's just go back here, guys. Why is he not coming up? Yeah, for some reason, guys, Hakimi is not coming up, which is a real shame. What about Scrinia? No. So, that's a kick of the teeth, isn't it, guys? I don't know why he's not coming up, to be honest. So, I think I'm going to have to go with this Marseille defence then, guys. So, I'm going to go with Mbemba, and hopefully the goalkeeper's on here. Let's have a look. Lopez, there we go. Right, I will go with them too. So, that's still a good defensive stack. Shame Hakimi wasn't there, though. Um, I would have had that PSG stack if so, but no, it's not there, so we'll stick with the Marseille stack. Still pretty decent, I think, there. So, that's that done. Defenders, goalkeepers done. Now, forward. I've got 75 points, guys, to spend on a forward now. So, let's have a look who we've got here. So, there's quite a few options here as well. Um, obviously, the big players like Neymar and Beppe. I would have obviously picked those, but they've now... Unfortunately, it looks like they're going to be leaving for pastures new. So, Terry would be a good one, but he's injured currently. I'm just going to go to the starting lineups again, guys, and just bear a thought for the odds as well. Um, Gurry, potentially. Let's just go back up here. Jonathan David. Now, I've already got him, actually, haven't I? I've already got Jonathan David in my squad, which is good. So, I've got Cabela to link up with him. Now, I can't get a Marseille player because I've already got two of those. I don't think these new players that are just transferred are actually going to be on the game yet. They're going to be in the, the, the players to pick, unfortunately. So, I'm not going to look at that. Uh, Monaco, who have they got up front now? Ben Yedder, he's not a bad choice, actually. Could be a decent backup option. Because it probably makes sense to um, play Jonathan David. Although, they've got Lacassette here for Leon. He's obviously a class player. Shaky as well. He's a good one. Um, but Terry is good. I'd bring him in. Once he's fit, I'll probably want to have him in my team. But at the moment, it's not fit. So I'm actually going to pick, it, pick Lacazette here. Just to add that to my team. Still got 12 budget as well. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. And done. So that's it, guys. I will be able to now pick my team. So Lopez in goal. And Bembe in defence. Nice stat there for Marseille. Decent fixture as well for them. Cabela for Lille with Jonathan David up front and Lacassette joining him up front as well in the front two. So captain, I'm going to go with, let's just look at the odds for these games. So 2.4 row for Lille, Leon 2.55, both away. Um, I'm going to go with Lacassette I think. I'm going to go with Lacassette, go ahead and click confirm. So that is my team picked there, guys. There it is. There's my La Liga team, Spanish La Liga. I will, of course, check the team news nearer to the deadline as well. So I've got a bit of a stack there for Lille. I've also got Lacazette as well, making up the extra slot. And a nice defensive stack for Marseille. Quite a cheap price as well. So that was it, guys. If you did like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to draft your teams as well, like I have done in this video, and draft your Premier League team for free and start in the free-to-play tournaments to win some potential rewards as well you can do that by clicking the link in the description okay then guys thanks for watching as always smash the like button subscribe to the channel follow me on facebook and twitter and i'll catch you again on the next video